Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to a new video. Today I'll be going over one of the two most fun legends to use, which is Octane and Mirage. These two guys actually take a lot of practice to nail down and actually become good with them. I'm not gonna lie, both of them are really fun, really, really strong if you know how to use them. Octane not so much, but he is probably the most fun character in, in Apex without a doubt. I still don't know if Fuse is gonna be as much fun, I doubt that he's gonna be that, but we're gonna have to see and wait. So let's get right into it. We'll first start with Mirage. His, his passive actually lets him revive teammates while going invisible and respawn teammates while going invisible as well. So you will be completely invisible to anyone while respawning, while being on the respawn beacon like this one, which was here already where <laughs> when I came here, or when you're reviving someone. You do flicker a little when you're in the storm or or someone's gas, but it's barely noticeable. Overall, really a really good passive compared to to his first passive, which was basically going invisible. And when he got knocked down, it was really really bad bad passive to be honest. But I'm glad he got a buff. Second, we got the decoy. Send the decoy. Wait, how do I know the psych out? The decoy. It's technical that lets you throw out an exact copy of yourself to copy every single movement you do. Or simply throw it out. Taking him out with a decoy. Overall, decoys are. I'm gonna give you one tip already, which is watch out for Mirage's next season, or I mean season eight. They will get a buff. The decoys will start making footstep noises. At the beginning, when I was when I was recording, because I had to just chop up a lot of videos, so I simply started from scratch right here. In, in past videos, I, w I would tell you that to pay attention to your ears, and you would probably win a fight against the Mosh. But the bad thing about it now is that they will do. F they will make footsteps, footstep sounds, so it will not be as easy to find the actual mirage, and it will actually be harder to not be bamboozled. <laughs> Overall, a really strong ability. You can actually, you can actually play with it a lot. I'll, I'll show you in a bit how to how to use the decoy properly because some people say that the decoys don't work, but it's simply you are not using them correctly. Even the best best players in the game will fall for a decoy or two if you don't if you do know how to use them correctly. His ultimate is basically psych out just our drugs. It's life of the party, you simply use it. Escape. You throw out what five other decoys, you can throw out, Sending out my decoy. six if you throw your tactical. They will all follow your exact uh, exact movements and they will disappear after after a little while. These uh the these these decoys do disappear faster than the normal than a normal one, but they do make for some great distractions to run away or get into a fight or simply just like screw some people over. <laughs> Overall, Mirage is a really strong legend, but he also has a slightly bigger skill gap than you would imagine. <laughs> Overall, sadly Mirage falls falls a bit short on on ranked. I've seen some people use him. I personally don't use him in ranked since he doesn't bring much to the table when it comes to team wise, uh, to team comps and that kind of stuff. But if you if that's your thing, go ahead. I will happily let you. I'm not even here trying to force you into it. But now, now on to Octane. Was awesome. The adrenaline junkie and my first main in this game. Well, before Mirage actually. After Mirage. So Octane's passive is Swift Mint. He will slowly regenerate health over time. Health, no shields. So He's got time. Basically his tactical is Tim. It takes ten percent of his uh takes ten damage out of his out of his HP. Whenever he uses it, and he can run uh, 
30% fast, uh, you can walk 30% faster and sprint 40% faster. That is a big buff, even if it doesn't sound like it, that is a big buff. You also don't get slowed down by bullets anymore when you're using it, and you also don't get staggered while, while jumping from tall heights, for example, right now. I jump. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second. So. It's go time! You jump down. You receive this, this small delay for you to actually start running. With the stim, you instantly start sprinting. So, show you. You jump. You start running straight ahead. Overall, the stim was a bit underwhelming at first. I mean, the stim is always gonna be fun to use. I mean, simply a. Give yourself a boost card. I absolutely love him. I mean, if you wanna have fun in Apex, this is your guy. I mean, what's more fun in Apex than having a legend that can actually move around like it's nothing and just have fun with them? And uh, his pa his tactical, his tactical and passive uh, just like complement each other really well. But his ultimate is launch pad jump pad out. or the jump pad. No, he said jump pad, but it's actually called launch pad. So it's basically. A small platform that you simply jump on or simply launch you in whatever direction you want or whatever direction you walked into it for example if I'm walking that way it's gonna throw me that way and all the other even if you're walking backwards it's gonna shoot you back backwards so a thing that you can actually do this is a, a tip that I I don't got a clip for it yet because sadly my PS4 cannot handle that much uh, space that much that much storage in the, in the in its side so what you do with this is I know some people that complain about Hawking not being able to hit any of the of the shots that he I mean while you're in the air after using the launch pad you expect to hit almost every shot but for some reason you miss you miss everything well there's a small fix for this you simply slide onto the jump pad and don't use the second jump pad. that will make your aim as if as if you were in the ground so no no spread you, know, you, simply, you simply gotta rely out a lot on your aim sadly I just woke up this is, this is like straight out so my aim is kinda ass right now I'm not even gonna lie Ready, set, go. so what you may see right there not a bullet miss. And you can actually do a lots of crazy shit with this. You can jump on top of people, you can jump into people, you can jump away from people, I mean it's really up to you. I got I got clips for both Mirage and Octane right now. Sadly Octane is a bit hard to explain him since he's his kid is basically go fast, go in fast, you need to go, go out fast. I do gotta say something. Which is a tip for er every single Octane out there, or every single character. If you're playing Octane and you get a golden helmet, drop it on the ground for someone else. Just it doesn't matter who you're throwing it down for. No one is gonna. No, you're not gonna take advantage of the of the golden helmet's uh, abilities by being an Octane. The golden helmet, as, you, as some of you may know, it takes uh, makes your tactical and ultimate. Well, ultimate I don't know, but uh, makes your tactical uh, recharge faster. But when you're playing octane, it doesn't it doesn't help. It, it's just a plain. It just stays on one second. So just throw it down for someone else. As an octane player, I know. <laughs> Some loot maybe may look good, but the gold helmet isn't it. I mean, the gold helmet and Octane don't work well together. But yeah, that's all I can say. Now, let's get straight into Eclipse. I, I will be narrating over them since I, I'm never narrating over the clips that I, that I that I record since they're simply me playing playing around and trying to get some 
trying to get some content for these types of videos. So yeah, let's get straight into it. And I hope you guys enjoy enjoy an actual explanation of how to use Mirage and Octane in a, in a fast and effective way. Let's get straight into it. So, first off, we'll get right into this clip. This is a Mirage clip. I'll be going over Mirage versus I explained him her uh, I explained him first in the in the tips and tricks. Let me show you. We we landed we land here. This this was a bit of a messy drop, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't get a gun at the beginning. I I get an R301 and a and a vault. That's an amazing combo to start us off. I hear right behind me I were and I kinda steal the loot, but that was kinda mine. I do a finisher just to get my shields back up, <laughs> which is something you you should try to do whenever you can. I knew there were not many people around me, or at least no one would try to shoot me. Okay, there you go. I throw my deport, and he completely eats it. So, I throw off my arc stars. I saw that he used the the Ryzen uh, tactical. So, with my with my passive, I instantly go revive him. Finish, uh, finish, the, finish the Octane and then revive him again. That's the thing about Mirage, you can actually revive in the middle of a battle completely safe if the other guy didn't see you. So here we we see, or well, our Horizon sees and I hear another squad coming in. So I simply throw out my decoy, I, I, accident, I accidentally fall down here. I pull out my ult to kind of confuse them and people say that the decoys only fool bad players well you're gonna see the guy that I just killed I will show you a screenshot right now this guy oh this guy is not a bot so if you say that only bad players fall for mirage, mirage decoys you truly are mistaken by a mile and we're struggling and I'm not gonna lie we were struggling this this fight to, to keep ourselves together I throw my decoy just in case, so if anyone shoots at it, uh, I'll get a notification and my teammates will do as well. One thing that you that you don't know is that if they take a shot or the decoy takes damage by anything, it will pinpoint the exact location of who shot at it. I hear a lifeline right here, so I just saw my decoy. He complete he she completely falls for it. Give me an advantage, uh, an advantage to Throw your shield and go into into the offensive type. I don't finish the fire. Uh, I don't finish her just because I I suck with the all star apparently. So I finish her and there's another squad coming in after us. So I hear them fighting. Someone is trying to kill uh, trying to kill me from the other side. So I simply try and loot quickly or as quickly as I can. I know they're fighting right below me, so I take the, lo uh, the long way in. And I was a little bit surprised, I'm not even gonna lie, because I saw ultimates, explosions, bullets, everything was going inside. So I was kind of trying to bait the decoy, but a Loba and a, and a Bloodhound straight, uh, straight, straight inside. And my teammates just let me loot while they were fighting the last two uh, the last two guys I get some quick loot since I saw the grenade I had one shot with a little that I still don't I know how I used it and this is that thing that I was telling you try to make your decoys convincing so look look here the life lane completely forced for the decoy it doesn't even try to take a shot at me so it instantly gives me a chance to uh, break your shields and take your damage Sadly, the last guy escapes, and I just try and chase her for the rest of the match. I that didn't work out quite well. <laughs> so this small clip right here, it's really small, but it's really useful if you want to know where the location of a caustic or a Watson. So you simply throw your decoy, and it will, and if it hits a caustic trap or a Watson pen, it will instantly show you and your teammates where the Watson or Caustic is in the map. This was another clip that we got. For some reason I was getting all shitty drops for like a day, for like two days straight. 
I killed this guy and I instantly started hitting myself with my own fucking dumb ass. I do the, the finisher so I can get my shields back up. And I, we hear people on top of us. The, this is why I was telling you about as well. The, the Bangler's smoke can actually make his decoys way more convincing. For example, that Bloodhound just eats a decoy, letting me know there's people on top of us. He tries to go from the other side. A P2020 to the face. I take the, the Havoc with a few shots and I go after my teammate. This is another situation where you're gonna see something that I shouldn't have done and you should learn from it. So for example, I hear people right in here. And I throw my decoy to a wall that I, sh I shouldn't have thrown the decoy right there. But I use my ultimate right here, so the Lobo doesn't doesn't get an easy shot on me, and so I can escape. But I escaped it into a wrong position and it ate a mass. So what you're seeing right now is the octane. I I got two octane clips, if I'm not wrong, maybe three. Uh, just don't be expecting much since octane is really easy to explain. Simply go in, go out. Maybe the highest skill gap, uh, skillful ability of him is how to use his jump pad properly. But yeah, we get into a fight, I use my jump pad, I completely screw it up because I, I missed time my jump. So, here's my stem, try and get out, hit a couple of shots, and then I use my uh, my jump pad to get into a safe place and get high ground. This place completely, completely gives me an advantage so I can be in a safe position and I can have high ground. Sadly, my revenant dies, we get we get third party, well, the team that, that killed my revenant got third party. I simply saw. Uh, I simply go down and grab the Crypto's banner. I was gonna try and go for the Revenant, but he instantly left. So what I did right here is simply run away and just go straight after the after the beacon. I respawned them. I gave him some loot, and I looked around before we found another squad right here. I almost die, so I instantly start hitting a, a shield battery. And some Octane players, you you may think, oh, Octane players are gonna be super aggressive. You gotta start thinking of, uh, in another mindset when you play an Octane. For example, I just used that jump pad to simply get us out of a really screwed situation. If we would have stayed there, we would have probably died. So here is, a, is, the, is the next clip. We landed again in fragment. Some some people love to land fragment for some reason. So we hear shots on the other side of the of the of the city. So mm, our Gibraltar kind of pushes in like a dumbass. I'm not even gonna lie. He pushed in a little bit weird. So I try and give him cover. I take down the Mirage, but he gets killed by someone else. So this is a thing that you will see. From an octane player i jump down and use my jump pad so he can and i ping it so he can use it to get on top of this i know this may not seem like much but it instantly gave me more of a more of a feeling of safety while doing this and i placed it in a way where i can use it to get into high ground and get into a an offensive position right now i know that the mirage that i killed is getting revived so i simply go in kill them both I try and loot them, but I uh, a wraith tries to tries to kill me, so I instantly just take a shot of the massive that usually scares them away. My Gibraltar gets knocked down again, so I simply use the stim to get to him as quickly as possible and just start uh, just start reviving him. One thing that I do gotta say is that some people say that Octane is not useful to a team. That's really uh, that's really true in most cases because many people don't know how to use Octane properly. But a good Octane player that has put time and effort into mastering this guy will show you that having an Octane will mean that you will be jumping and on launch pads almost the entire game, giving you high mobility for the entire game. As long as you got the Octane alive, he's gonna give you high mobility. For example, right here, I hear people so I instantly go in jump pad and and straight in your face my teammates also use the launch pad to get uh, to get near me 
this fight we we lost it, but I easily knocked down this uh, this pathfinder. I used my stem to try and scout the area. When I go when I go up, I didn't see the that there were two people in here, so uh, I tried to stem away, but I just get into more, into more of a, situ a bad situation. So that's one thing I gotta give you. When you're playing Octane, don't be stemming around like my dumb is just dead. Just try to think where, if I push in quickly, where could I escape quickly? For example, I completely ruined this fight. I mean, I was hoping this Wraith or the Gibby would clutch up for us, but none of them could. But yeah, I know I know Octane got a, a really small, uh, uh, two really small clips, but Sadly, I cannot do much about about Octane. I mean, he's a really strong character, but sadly, I cannot do much ar uh, around it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This will be... I will make a small pause between uh, tips and tricks or the guides because the next video will probably be on Fuse or the next, or the next season since it's coming out on the next like six days or so. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next video and on season 8. I'll see you in the mayhem, boys. See ya.